Hey, everybody. This is your girl, Angela, and this is a Stardom 101 Magazine exclusive, and I am live on the phone with Melanie Amaro. She was the season one winner of S Factor, so thank you so much for joining us, Melanie. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. So what's been going on with you? Um, Nothing. I've just been working on my music and whatnot. I've been recording nonstop in the studio. I've just been working and doing everything for my fans. Okay. So we first got introduced to you on X Factor, and your audition video went viral. It has over a million views on YouTube. Yeah, I was really shocked when I saw that as well. Yeah, um, so what made you audition? Uh, my mom actually made me audition. She was pushing me to do it, and she kept on telling me she knows that I can win, and she says I just have a God-given talent, and I, she just she saw it in a vision. She said she saw me, you know, um, winning the show and whatnot, you know. Wow, so mama was right. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. She was right. You know, at first when I got kicked off the show, um, when I first got eliminated, I said to myself, oh, God, see, Mom, you were wrong. And then mm-hmm. he came back and got me, and it just had yep. me in amazement that, you know, that had happened. Mm-hmm. So after you won, you were pretty much just launched into stardom. You had a Super Bowl Pepsi commercial with Elton John, and you got a record deal with Epic Records. So how did you yeah. deal with the sudden fame? I'm sorry, one more time. How did you deal with the sudden fame? Oh, how did I deal with it? Um, wow, that's hard. Um, I just, I took it on and just did what I had to do. I mean, you know, trying to stay as down to earth as possible, as humble as possible, and not let this fame get to my head. And, you know, I had people, my family, they kept me very grounded, so. Mm-hmm. So how has your upbringing impacted your music and your sound? Um, I would say my upbringing, it um, helped me in church. You know, I've always had a big voice, you know, and mm-hmm. lots of church singers have very big voice. And I, I started out in the church, and I was singing in the choir and performing, and, you know, it just it helped my voice to be as strong as it is. So I would say it definitely helped a lot, and it definitely, you know, gave me that good foundation to be able to sing as well as I do. Mm-hmm. Are you still signed to Epic Records? No, I'm not. Not anymore, no. Okay, so are you going the independent route, or you're looking for a new label? Correct, correct. I'm going the independent route. Okay, nice. So are you working on a new album? I know your I album is really I'm working on an EP right now. Um, I'm so excited about it. All the music and all the producers that I've been working with have just been awesome. Um, I can't wait to put it out for my fans for them to hear because I know they're anxious and they really, you know, they really can't wait for me to put it out. You know, I got a single coming out pretty soon called Feel My Fire. Um, I'm going to let the song speak for itself. I'm not really going to speak on it too much. It's just it's about the journey that I've been through after X Factor and with everything that I've been going through, so. Okay. Do you have a favorite song on the album? Any previews you can give us? Um, Not as yet, um, but I'm definitely going to continue to work on it. Okay. Sounds good. So how can we keep up with you? What is your social media um, tags, um, website? Fans and followers can definitely keep up with me on Instagram. It's at it's Melanie Amaro twenty six, and on Twitter at it's Melanie Amaro. Um, you can also um, keep up with me on. I don't even know the name of the site, but those are the two main two main sites that you can keep up with me. Like I post things every day on either one. It tells you exactly where I'm, what I'm doing, where I'm at, and whatnot, and everything about the music updates and whatnot. And uh, also my YouTube channel, you know, uh, Melia Marvel Vivo and the YouTube channel, if you look it up, there's lots of videos on there of me singing and whatnot, so. Okay, so so is there anything else you want to discuss that we haven't talked about yet? Um, No, I just wanted to let my fans know that I absolutely love them and I thank them for sticking by me through everything that I've been going through. You know, you guys are the driving force behind me, you know, 
trying to be my very best for you guys. And I, I just thank you because you could have given up on me a long time ago, but you didn't, and you're sticking by my side, and I absolutely love you guys, and I'm working on this music for you. I'm putting this music out for you guys, and I cannot wait for you guys to hear it because I absolutely love it. So. Okay, well, we definitely can't wait to hear it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and good luck with everything. All right. Thanks, Angela. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Have a great day. All right, you too. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. 